became a hero to many chefs, of course, for the way that he showed the world in which they worked. So we wanted to know how local chefs are remembering Bourdain tonight. Nine on your sides, Brianna Harper has their remembrances. Some terribly sad news. It was the day's top headline that no one saw coming. And I have to say, I was in meetings all morning. It was just a complete shock. I think it's very sad for the for the for the culinary world. Chef, author, television host, all titles. 61-year-old Anthony Bourdain held prior to his death by suicide. But in his passing, chefs around the world say he left behind something unique, especially for culinary stars in the making at Cincinnati State showed as by example that you can be that person kind of a outsider or somebody that is just a great food enthusiast that actually can uh, progress in this field and be very very successful. Bourdain traveled the world in his CNN series Parts Unknown. Sweet. Years ago he was in Cincinnati and as a visit chef and restaurant owner Jean Robert de Cavell says he won't forget anytime soon. As a professional cook I did find it amazing that one person like that can bring people on a Sunday night or probably 2,000 people who want to meet him, who want to be part of his experience of traveling around the world. Bourdain also managed to shape a new culture at mealtime through his best-selling book, Kitchen Confidential. You enjoy your meal and you don't have no idea what's behind the door. And he shared that with everybody and he make, he make, I don't know, I think for me it was it was a phenomenon in America culinary. Not only does Bourdain leave behind his legacy, but also a renewed look at the troubles of suicide. It's going to bring a lot of awareness to, to depression now and, and, and to keep that, that, that in the spotlight a little bit and to draw attention so people realize they're not alone. It's very missed by a lot of young cooks, by a lot of people who we met. Brianna Harper, nine on your side. We would like to take this opportunity to point out if you are thinking of harming yourself or know someone who is, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 800-273-TALK. That is 800-273-8255. We also have that information for you on WCPO.com and on our mobile app. If a person is in immediate danger, the National Alliance on Mental Illness says you should call 911.